Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Robocraft with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to Factory Fun, the series in which you tell me which robots to try from the community factory, and I do so to the very best of my ability, giving my honest first impressions, and of course, writing the bot out of five in both style and combat. In today's episode, we have the Telesto version 2 by Light. Sniper, a good anti-air hover with decent ground combat capabilities and triforcing. Well, I can't really see any of the triforcing in question, to be perfectly honest, but let's assume it is there somewhere in the core. We can only find out, of course, by purchasing it and having a quick look-see on its insides. So, hello there. It is a very lovely kind of Dennis the Menace um, paint scheme, so I do give it that already. Okay, oh, it does have that there, though, so is that a... Yeah, okay, so yeah, there is definitely some triforcing going on. Absolutely excellent. It can be a little bit hard to tell sometimes, especially when you're just looking at the outside. So I will assume all the rest is good like that, and that way we can simply test it as we normally do. So let's get straight into a team deathmatch, let's see how it does, and let's hope there's a couple of flyers on the enemy team. Well, here goes the first battle, and we have a Dalek on our side. So how can things possibly go wrong? I see great things for this robot already. Let's swap over to the flak so we can do a bit of sniping as soon as we see the enemy, and let's not be overly aggressive. Let's be nice and cool. Oh, look, a flyer! I was going to finish that line with cautious, but I kind of wanted to shoot things. I haven't actually used the flak in a really long time, so I'm overly happy about this. I like the randomizer. It picked a robot I wanted to play today. Well done, you. Hit the target at least. Let's just go down. Uh, laser burst fire or plasma? Probably plasma would have done better there. Ooh, that laser can really drag, so make sure we're not as close to the ground as I just was. Okay, since these are the largest plasma, the fire rate isn't bad, even though we only have two of them. Okay, not doing badly so far. Did a fair bit of damage. This thing handles very quickly. The thrusters on the back make the turning very, very quick. Jump! Ooh, hello, Flyer. I'll get some CPU damage out of you, thank you very much. Ah, I thought he was a hover, I was hoping maybe I'll get an explosion, but sadly not. It's okay, I should have been using the plasma anyway. And if we get close to the enemy, our laser should do fairly decently. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Ooh, perfect. You stay up there, lad. Did he have a plasma on the bottom of his robot? That was really cool. Swap over to Flak just to snipe off his weapons if you can. That would be fantastic. Maybe lasers would do better here as well. Hmm. I don't actually know. I'm not scared of your of your shotgun. This is a very sturdy robot. So far, a lot of praise in terms of combat for this hover. As someone who can't build a good hover to save their life, I'm actually very impressed so far. Managed to steal the killing blow there. And I will say that was definitely a steal, because I wasn't helping out until the very, very end. And they ha already had the kill, basically secured. Oh, we got a flat kill, lads. We got a flat kill. Now, I'm fairly certain he's high enough for a flat to explode. Uh, not anymore. He was. Kill that shotgun user. Ah, yeah, he definitely was. One enemy remains. Nope, you're not firing anything actually there, okay. You're firing at the phantoms in your mind. That's not a good thing to do, it's confusing to your teammates. I know the phantoms can be scary, I know from experience. Ooh, okay, the flak's over there. But I'm just going to get some guaranteed points and just cap instead. Go forth, flyers! Get revenge upon your nemesis! That has really long wings. 
Now let's see, if I was firing forward with the flap. Yeah, that either clips or yeah, just clips, okay. So you can't fire directly forward with the flak. That's something we'll have to bear in mind. Excuse me, I'm testing out my weapon. You don't need to test out a shotgun, it's fairly simple. Okay, don't fire forward. There we are. And we got first place. So not a bad start in the slightest. And protonium crate, please. Thank you. Netting me a electro shield left. And teasing me with a st Oh wait, no. It isn't teasing me. I have premium on this account. This is my press account. And suddenly, I feel a lot better. So, how are we rating this bot? Well... In terms of combat, I'm actually going to give it a 5. And I know that might that might be surprising to some, because it's very rare I actually give out a 5. But it's doing everything I want it to do. I have literally no complaints. At all. The only thing I can possibly muster up, and this really isn't a complaint to be honest, is just that those two lasers drag a little bit. And the fact they're on the bottom does mean that occasionally they're not firing at the enemy, but I didn't notice that once. At least, I think it may have happened at one point when I was firing at someone on a cliff when I first started moving forwards, but I didn't actually notice it happened, so I'm assuming it happened. So I have literally no concern whatsoever there. In terms of style, it does look a little bit clunky. It does pay for its combat capabilities with being a little bit clunky looking. I don't think many people will argue with me about that, but I'm sure some of you will. But it does look better than it could be. It could be literally a block around a lot of the corners, and working with the triforcing it's trying to go for, and working with the sturdiness it's definitely tried to go with, I'm going to give it a 4. I really do love the combat capabilities. In terms of style, it could be improved. That's not really an insult. I, def I definitely think it could look a bit better, but it definitely doesn't look bad. So definitely a 4 there. Just above average. I was tempted to say 3, but it does look better than it could be in many ways. I mean, just like bits of paint like that, it's looking nice. It's had a bit of attention given to it. I think that's the best way of saying it. I didn't notice that those two thrusters are backwards as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's get into another team deathmatch. Okay, then second battle. We have a lot of missile launchers on our team. One of the robots going that way also had one, so I think that means four or five of our robots are using lock on missile launchers, which is very, very high. Okay, fair bit of damage done there to him. There's a fly up. There he is. Spotted for the team and spotted for my flag. There he is. Lovely. Thank you so much for your participation. You can take a bit of plasma, and I'm going to go a little bit more aggressive than I wanted to originally. Aha! Thank you for jumping. Aha! Well, we just got flipped by an ally. That was good. Although I think it was me ramming into him, to be honest. So I'm going to say that was my fault that time. Going down any second now, but who will get the kill? I will. Why am I using a flak against the ground unit? Because I want to take out his gun. And we hit him with a flak as well, which is very, very nice indeed. Now, if he's going for the flak, that's going to be great for me because I'm not actually going to be using it for a while. Okay then, in that case we're going to go full on laser mode on him. Wow, he was frail. Yeah, attaching all of your aero rods to one point that isn't something like a mech leg can just lead to some horrible results. You kind of explode when an enemy attacks you. And there we go, one kill, but we did get a lot of assists with the flak. And again, very, very happy with the robot. The flipping was a bit concerning, but honestly, I have been flipping robots no matter what type of robot they are for like the last few days. Oh look, I'm using a tank. Well, now I'm on my back. I'm using a mech legs. I'm now somehow face planting. So I'm not going to hold that against it. Ooh, cosmetic -y. 
Okay, I think one last battle, just to see if the first two were a fluke. And so begins the third and final battle. Now, this is going to be quite a short factory fun, I admit, but sadly I just don't have enough time to put this through any more battles. But on the upside, this is definitely going to be a robot I'm going to be keeping in my bays, so if I ever livestream Robocraft anytime soon over on twitch.tv slash Latherix, there is a very good chance this is going to be one of the robots I use to level up, so yay for that at least. Any enemies we can see? Oh, there's a Tesseract, I want to say? And some kind of more regular flyer. Darn, I really thought he was going up there. I was, I was going to feel really clever by hitting him and, and anticipating his moves. Oh, we're, we're a bit too high there. There we go. Now we're accurate again. Hmm. I do love it when mechs jump in a group. Because suddenly you can hit all of them. Hello! I have those too! Oh, and you're flipped, that's a shame. Let's go for laser so we can pick off the guns a bit more. Doopy 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 doop. No, there's another enemy! Excuse me, Let's excuse me. There goes his plasma, and there goes his shotgun. I'm sorry, sir. And hello, medic. Gun again. Stop it from auto healing, and there we are. Thank you to my medic, though. I was a bit silly in terms of positioning there. Far too aggressive, and that would have normally got me killed. Oh, hello. I know I should be fighting the guy in front of me, but I see a flyer and I've got a flak, and I just can't help myself. There goes a shotgun, and. Yeah, bye bye. Run after your medic! Run faster, my friend! Nope. I really don't like how the maximum size lasers feel now. Well, not the old mega lasers, the old laser leviathans, I think they're called now, but these ones, the... I literally can't remember their name right now, but they just feel so sluggish and slow. They don't feel like what lasers used to feel like back when they were SMGs. Uh, back in my day, they used to fire like machine guns, and it made me very, very happy. Can I climb? I doubt it, but we'll try. Come on, you can do it. You can do it! You can do it! I believe in you! We should have took the easier route! Yes! Okay, hello. Oh, it, it's like a giraffe turtle. That was adorable before it exploded. Okay, several enemies over there, and someone is trying to cap our base. Let's go over to Flak for a second. Inaccurate as hell because we're too far off the ground. We can't fire directly forward. We learnt this earlier, remember, Lathrix? Oh, we've got missiles. Repay them with flak. Oh, it didn't actually fire at me in the end. Well, repay them with flak anyway. That is one sturdy mech. Oh, hello, he's also a medic helping him, which doesn't help. Well, it doesn't help us anyway. Sure, shoot me, I'm tanky enough to take it, and I'm going to go after the medic who's completely running away from his ally. That was annoying. And now I'm too far behind to actually hit him. Cruiser. I dislike you wholeheartedly. Wow, we're actually slower than that cruiser? Well, yeah, we are much slower than that cruiser. Oh, yeah. He's gonna be one of those fellows, isn't he? Now he's gonna have to run after him for half an hour. Thankfully, we do have a fellow over there who's gonna intercept him, so I'm just gonna keep on chasing so he keeps moving that way. Ah, on the upside, we finally found someone who can actually shoot. And there we go, another flat kill. And there's a little cruiser fellow. You can't fire downwards very well on this robot. Uh, I hate I hate fights like this, when it's just a load of slow robots and the enemy is quick, but it looks like his movement type was finally destroyed. And there we go, before I got even more annoyed at him. And we are victorious. Excellent. And one more Protonium Crate for the Protonium Crate God.
who is simply called John, amazingly. Ooh, rares. Well, some more shiny things for the collection. Okay, so final thought, uh, final thoughts then on this, which I probably have been pronouncing completely wrong. It's a really good hover. I have no major complaints with it at all. It's very tanky. I noticed the back section is a bit more vulnerable than the first after seeing it being shot by a shotgun pretty much from every single angle over the course of this video. It does seem like the back is a bit more vulnerable than the for, uh, the front, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. Also, can you tell I am running on almost like two hours of sleep right now? You probably can. But even so, really, really do like this hover. I think it could look a bit prettier, but maybe that would cut into the functionality. It's kind of the max P flops I'm currently allowed, and I will be trying to level up once I get back from England. I'm going to be doing a few streams, I think, just um, spamming team death matches, a few battle arenas, perhaps even just doing single player and talking to people who are there. So that should be a bit of fun trying to get to maximum level finally. I don't want to ask the devs for a level boost as well as everything else, I want to at least get there on my own, although I am spending far too much time currently on the leveling account leveling that one. Anyway, if you would like to see your robot on a future episode of Factory Fun, then please in the comments below leave your username, the robot's name, the robot's ranking, the robot CPU, and anything else about the robot you think is pertinent. Things like the weapon configuration, anything unique about the robot, in terms of how I should be handling it, in case I would miss it, and just any details you think is relevant in the slightest. So, thank you again for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Robocraft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.